Hello, welcome to this video. In today's presentation, we have a question on depreciation. The question reads, Abdi bought a motorcycle at 160,000 shillings. The depreciation rate was 6% per annum, determined semi-annually. How long will it take the motorcycle to be valued at a quarter of its original cost? The first thing, we are going to begin by stating the formula for depreciation. So we are going to use the compound interest formula, that is amount is equal to principal into 1 minus the rate over 100. That is, we are subtracting because it is depreciating. If it were appreciating, then you'd have addition, and then you raise it to n, where n is the time taken for the depreciation. So in the question, we are told, Abdi bought a motorcycle at 160,000 shillings, so that is the original cost. Now, the original cost represents the principal, that is 160,000. And this value here has to depreciate at a rate of 6% per annum. But remember, we're told this is determined semi-annually. So if we have the rate R, which we're told is 6% per annum, then if it is to be determined semi-annually, then we'll have to divide the rate by 2. Or in other words, we'll multiply by a half. So that is 6 over 2 is equal to 3%. That is because for the whole year, the rate is 6%. Half a year is just 3%. The next thing, we are told, how long will it take the motorcycle to be valued at a quarter of its original cost? So we are required to determine the value of N. Remember N here is in years. And this also implies that if it is to be determined semi-annually, then how many half years are in N years? Remember, if in one year we have two half years, and therefore in N years we have two N half years. Once again, remember 3% here is for half a year or semi-annually. So these terminologies can be used interchangeably. They mean the same thing, half yearly and semi-annually. All right, we're told that after two and half years, the value of the motorcycle will be a quarter, that is the amount, will be a quarter of its original cost. So we have a quarter of 160,000. And that is... 40,000 shillings. Now, with these values, we are going to do our substitution in the formula. So we'll have amount, amount here we have as 40,000. So 40,000 is equal to, sorry, the principal and the principal is 160,000, just as we have here, into one minus the rate, and the rate is 3%, so three over 100, raised to the time, and the time here we have 2n, 2n. Remember we have these values because this is determined semi-annually. So instead of having the rate as 6%, we now have it as 3%. And instead of having the rate as n years, we have two n half years. Well, the task here is to determine the value of n, and therefore we'll proceed as follows. So first, we divide both sides by 160,000. And the left-hand side simplifies to 0 0.25, and the right-hand side will have 160 cancelling. And therefore, in the bracket, we have 0 0.97, that is 1 minus 0 
and then all that is raised to twice n. At this point, we'll be able to determine the value of n when we introduce common logarithms to both sides of the equation. So we'll have logarithm of 0 0.25 is equal to logarithm of 0 0.97 raised to 2n. So at this point, we're going to apply the law of logarithm which states if you have logarithm of a raised to b, this can also be expressed as b log a. That is, the power comes and multiplies logarithm of a. So the same thing applies to the right-hand side of this equation, so that on the left-hand side, we still have logarithm of 0 0.25, but the right-hand side will have the power twice n multiplying logarithm of 0 0.97. At this point, we can therefore divide both sides by logarithm of 0 0.97. So divide by log 0 0.97. So on the right hand side, these cancel so that we have twice n. And on the left hand side, when we divide this from my calculator, I'm getting 45.51. And since we are interested in the value of n, we'll divide both sides by 2. And that means the value of n becomes 22.76 years. And so that is how we go about this question. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me up to this end. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.